Australian, so I started off, I've, I've always been singing and songwriting pretty much for as long as I can remember, since I was about 15, 16 years old. Um, I started off in blues bands and then I started working in pop music and I, I wrote music for, um, for French Idol and things like that, um, wrote for other people and I'd never thought of getting into dance music. I then, I then was in a rock band in Australia that was signed to Sony and there were six of us in the band touring around and uh, having a great time but you know, not really making any money and playing to crowds of about 200 people and stuff. Um, and at one point I was in England on a songwriting trip and I met a DJ called Chris Lake and Chris is a fantastic producer. We decided to get together and, and write a song and we wrote a song called Carry Me Away which was only a demo but it was released and when, when it was released it got an amazing response and it ended up going to number one on the Beatport ch dance charts and everything. And, um, and I think the billboard charts and stuff as well in America. So I thought, wow, maybe this is my world. Um, then other DJs, Cosmic Gate, got in touch and asked me to work with them and, and we wrote a song together that also was well received. And then I worked with Dash Berlin and, and from there I just went, this, this style of writing really fits my voice. I love it. The people that listen to dance music are so enthusiastic and so passionate about it. I've, I've never played shows where people are so on your side from the minute that you walk out. Everyone's singing all the songs and, and people are there to just have a really good time. So it's such a good energy to be part of that. To me, it's actually having that interaction with the crowd. You know, I love I love writing the songs and being in the studio and having the feelings come through and the emotions of the songs. But when you actually get out there and you can see people and look look them in the eye and they're singing the words to the songs and you have that energy exchange with them, um, I think that's a really special thing. And I haven't experienced that in any other genre of music, so it's it's really cool. My brother and I, who who we write together, and he now manages me. We decided let's do this all ourselves. Let's strip it right back and and do everything that we want. So if a song comes out and it needs to be a dance song we'll make it a dance song if it should be a folk acoustic song we'll do that and release it too you know there's no there's no box that we have to fit into now which is great this is the first time that we've played it acoustically so I'm a bit excited about that it's a bit of a possessive kind of protective song slightly psychotic it's called be your sound Meet me tonight, dear I know we gotta run away Leaving the old fear Looking for a new place I can feel a storm near The dream won't go away So meet me tonight, dear And we'll run into a new day And through Try to hurt you I'll tell them down Why? I'm always with you now How? Oh, oh, oh. The streets 
that we knew here are never gonna be the same. I'm seeing it all clear, and now I'm never going back again. And through it all, I'm on your side now. I'm on Like if I can write a song that comes from a place of inspiration and it's something that I'm really feeling, then those are the ones that usually the listeners relate to a little bit more. So yeah, I think if you relate to it yourself, then perhaps other people out there will, will also get the feeling in it too. Clubs are fantastic. Mansion in Miami recently was great. Um, the clubs in Ibiza are always fantastic too. And, and I love playing Asia. If, everywhere has its own special moments, you know. It's amazing, amazing. And I perform just after sunset. So seeing the, that natural amphitheater of the rocks and, and as the sun's going down, all the colors it was throwing. It was actually a full moon as well. So I got to see the sunset and the moonrise while I was on stage. So it was really magical and the crowd was fantastic too. So yeah, really, really beautiful experience that I'll always remember, I think. It's, it's such an honor to be playing here, to be honest, because this is where Dance Musical began, really. And to have, there's so many amazing DJs and, and producers here every single week, you know, Tiesto and Armin and all these guys, Ferry, every single week. So it, it's it's an honor to be able to get on the same stage as these guys, you know, and, and to actually be able to perform at Eden, which I've heard many, many great things about. So yeah, cool. it's amazing um, to, to actually be able to get energy from the crowd and give energy back from the crowd to the crowd. It's, it's such a great feeling and I always try and run around and jump around as much as I possibly can. You know, if, if there's something I can jump up on, I'll stand up there to, to be able to connect with people more or run into the crowd if I can. And, and, you know, I like to get as close to people as I possibly can so that it feels like feels like I'm on the dance floor with them in, in a way. You know? I am, I'm working on another album at the moment, which will probably be split into two EPs. Um, I, I want to do an album this time that is, uh, my last album was quite dark and then there were all the remixes to it as well. So this time I want to do something that's a little bit more kind of upbeat, a little bit more euphoric, um, more, more club oriented and there'll still be a remix side to it as well. But um, I'm talking to some producers that I'm a big fan of at the moment about collaborating on the album. So, and also I'm going to do a few more collaborations, like another track with Cosmic Gate I think will be coming out soon because I love those guys. And a few other DJ collaborations. So there'll be a lot of new stuff coming out in the next year if I can, if I can finish it, if I can get some sleep and get home and finish it. <laughs>
journey, but anything that you want to do in life, just follow your dreams and go with your heart and never, ever give up on anything. But I hope that didn't sound too cheesy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm Emma Hewitt and you're watching Storm the DJ.